What's up, y'all? In this video, we're going to be talking about self myofascial release for the glute medius. So we just talked about the glute maximus. This muscle here is going to be on the side of your hips. So you're going to start from the ground, start in a seated position. We're using a lacrosse ball because it's not a big muscle. So the lacrosse ball will allow us to target that area a little bit better, target any knots that may be there. If a lacrosse ball is too much pressure, definitely resort to a tennis ball. It's still going to apply the same exact pressure uh, to release the knot, but just not as much of it. So in this case, taking the lacrosse ball, putting it on the ground. Then I'm basically going to lift so my hips are going into the lacrosse ball, and I'm going to bend my leg. So I'm starting my left leg. So I bend my left leg into my right. My hands are back just for balance. And then from here, rolling slightly forward and slightly back until I feel a tight area. This is really, really gonna target that area and it's gonna help to release any pressure you feel on the side of the leg any pressure to that IT band will be released by self myofascial release of the glute medius as that is the main attachment point as it goes further down the leg. You can also self myofascial release the glute medius through laying down. So we'll do the same process and I'm going to put the lacrosse ball directly below my hips on the muscle portion of it, not on the bone. And same thing, rolling forward and back. Make sure that your leg that you're going through is pointed out to the side. And then just rolling slightly forward and slightly back, maybe left and right, until you find the area that's tight. And then from here, also make sure you're pressing through the shoulder, or you can come to a fully laying position and go through it that way as well.